Does x equal negative eight? Uh, Wait, let me look again. So, so on. this one, I, I, I think they have a mistake in this one. Um, yeah. It's, it's 102, because it doesn't work out nicely, which and I, yeah. I didn't really check. So I just subtract thought I did six. it wrong. No, I thought it was like eight, because it is. Yeah, let's, let's, let's change this to 101, and let's subtract okay, yeah. 69 from both sides, and then you get 32 equals minus 4x. Now, you said positive eight which no i said me. negative i did okay yeah good maybe i misheard there yes x uh, i don't know if i didn't say it but i wrote it down yeah what you write down is more important than uh yeah. than what you say so let's uh let's try another couple here uh, type of this type here and uh and then we'll move on to the next next type of problem and uh kind of what i expected to happen is 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 what we're seeing like you only need yeah. a few examples to sort of recover your knowledge of how to, to solve these things. So go ahead and give this one a try, please. And okay. uh, let me know, um, let me know what you come up with. I got ne uh, negative 12. Very good. All right, um, so I think you got that down. So the next type of thing that we might need to work on here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some, start putting some problems up because I don't think uh, you need much explanation here. So let me uh, grab my snip. Always need my snip. Okay. So the other thing that would go into this this box up here, we talked about combining like terms, is the distributive property, and that's that's with parentheses. Yeah. All right. So, so the distributive property in this problem here says to take this five and multiply everything inside here by five. So minus thirteen equals five plus twenty m minus two m like that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So why don't you try solving this from here, please? Okay. I got M equals negative one. I agree. Okay, so let's have you try, uh, let's have you try uh, another one here that's in front. I'm gonna assume these work, I'm not checking them. Uh, you know, so if you get a weird answer, let me know. Okay, uh, yeah. I'm not, try I'm not trying to be difficult with these. I just, I'm going out to the internet yeah. and kind of stuff. So take a look at that one, see what you, uh, what you come up with.
Um, I got x equals eight. Okay, let's take a look here. So six x minus 15 minus four x equals 33. So two x minus 15 equals 33. When I add 15 to both sides, I get 48. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Hang on just a second. I'll be right back. All right. Okay, uh, so I got I got two x equals forty eight here. Okay, which is yeah, I messed it up because I I it's uh twenty four, but I forgot I wrote um I forgot to write x after the four. That's why I messed it up. Okay, very good. Um, I just do like little mistakes like that. That's why. Yeah, that's that's okay. I mean, we got we got some time here to practice. And, yeah. Uh, um, Okay, so eight, uh, so here's one for you to try. Um, when you distribute, I'll just make the point here that the negative goes with it. So negative four times V, negative four times eight. Yeah, all right. I got V equals 10. Okay, let's, uh, let's take a look here. 8 equals 8V minus 4V minus 32, like that. And then the Vs combine 8 equals 4V minus 32. So you add 32 to both sides. And uh, yeah, V equals uh, V equals 10. Really good. All right, yeah.
So let's try let's try one here, just a tiny bit, you know, more complicated. Um, so actually, there there is something new here that we haven't done yet. So let me, um, I got to pull up one of my worksheets to do that, and uh, we'll talk about how to solve these. Um, So here we go. I've got it uh, pulled up here. So the next, the, before we can kind of go on to the next thing, I'm going to put up uh, a new type of equation in front of you. All right. And uh, 3x minus 4 equals minus 6x plus 5. So when you have variables on two sides, so this would this would be, um, it's kind of, again, kind of in this this box. Sorry for all the scrolling here. Um, okay. when, you have, when you have variables on both sides, you have to know what to do. And we're sort of covering all the possibilities. Like so far, all of the variables have been on one side, yeah. you know, one side and so on. But when they're on both sides, the the correct way to do it is to move from the smaller to the larger. So you add 6x, you add 6x. 9x minus 4 equals 5. Add 4, add 4. 9x equals 9. Divide by nine, divide by nine, x equals x equals one. Okay, yeah. Okay, so smaller to the larger. And what that means is what that means is that um, if it's if they're both negative, it's still the one that's you know more negative. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. And and I mean hopefully that that all makes sense here. So let me let me put one in front of you to try here. Minus eight x minus seven. Minus seven equals minus six x minus three. You move from from one side to to the other. All right. So, uh, go ahead and give this a try, and let me know uh, what you come up with. Okay. I got um, x equals negative two. Okay, let's take a look here. That probably is correct here. Add eight x to both sides. So now you're minus seven equals two x minus three. Add three to both sides. At some point, you don't have to show this. You can just show the result. You can say, okay, yeah. x is negative two like that. Good. Okay, so the reason we do all that is because then the next kind of incremental difficulty of problems here is when you've got some of the distributive property and you got to move variables around. So here is a new problem for you to try. So go ahead and take a look at that and uh, see if you can work that out on your own, please. Okay.
I don't know um if the answer is not supposed to be like whole. Okay. Or what did you What did it, you get? Well, I got. I'm supposed. To, it's like thirty two k divided by five negative five k. Give me just a moment, please. I'll be right back. All right.
Okay, I'm uh, I'm back. Um, I'll go through the layers. This is 32K minus 32 equals minus 5K minus 32. Yeah. So yeah, this one actually, um, it does work. It's a little bit odd here. So when you, when you add 5K to both sides, you get 37K minus 32 equals minus 32. Add 32 to both sides. And then this is probably where you were like, huh, what do I do from here? Well, you don't look at the, you only look at the side oh, with the variable. I it. Yeah. So you divide by 37 and K equals zero. Okay. All right. A equals zero. All right, so let's uh, let's have you try another one here, kind of the same uh, same style of problem where you've got to distribute here and then uh, and then combine like terms and then solve like we've been talking about. So um, I got um x equals zero. I wonder, can't believe that yet. Okay, eight plus forty x plus five equals thirteen plus five x. So we got thirteen plus forty x equals five x plus thirteen. So yeah, it is going to be zero again. Okay, well those are not very good. <laughs> it's supposed to be uh. Let me, uh let's see if I got the answers. None of these have the answers. Okay. Um, okay, let me put one more in front of you here. I'm pretty sure this is not zero again, so let's try this. All right, so go ahead and give this one a try. Pretty All sure right. this works out to something other than zero, so be a, be a good, uh,
I got x equals three. Okay, x equals three. So let's take a look here. 36x plus 48 equals 42x plus 12. You move the 36x over. 36 equals 6x. Oh. And then you divide by six. So it equals six. Wait, let me see what I, I don't know what I did. Sometimes you, know, you, you don't distribute everything or you, you know, you just, you know, things get, you get forgotten. Um, it's easier. To, it's really easy to do. I mean, these are, yeah, they're not difficult, but they require a lot of attention to detail. So, um, yeah, that's true. So the next type of problem we're going to look at here in our toolbox here is, uh, fractions and decimals, excuse me. And, uh, like a common problem, especially on like entrance exams to, or placement exams at the university level, they always like to throw in problems with fractions because their students don't like them. So you you have to look at this and say, okay, it's minus 61 over 12 equals B over one minus four over three. Multiply everything by 12 like that. Okay, so um, the reason 12, okay, sorry, we need to talk about why 12. You're looking for the least common multiple of 12, one, and three. And that's a separate kind of quick lesson to do about what the LCM is. But here's the thing is you, you divide before multiplying. So what I mean by that is, is instead of multiplying four by 12 and then dividing by three, 12 divided by three is four and four times four is 16. 12 divided by one is 12, 12B, 12, 12 uh, you divide and that gives you this. And then you solve this the way you would all the other problems we've been doing. So you would add 16 to both sides. This is minus 45 equal 12B. Yeah, sometimes these don't work out nicely. Right? You end up getting minus 45 over 12 and you have to be able to reduce fraction here. So you divide the top by three to like minus 15 over four. And there's your, your final answer. So here's one for you to try. Okay, that was confusing, Luke. Okay, just give give this one a try. I mean, it's it. We'll, we'll learn more from doing. You learn more from your failures and your successes. So wait. So would I like divide one side by like the? You, you want to multiply by the LCM. I mean, so multiply. The, yeah. Yeah. So you're looking for the LCM of three, one, and six. And you can. I'm happy to tell you whether you're right or not on that value. Okay. It doesn't have to be the LCM. It just has to be a common multiple. Okay. Um. Like would nine work? Or it's actually six. Oh. So, so the, the like the, the short of it is you can go three, six, nine, 12, and so on, six, 12, 18, and so oh, on. Oh, okay, okay. So you look for the smallest one. I mean, 12 would work, but you want to choose the smallest one if you can. Yeah, okay.
Okay, wait, can you walk me through it? I'm confused. Sure. So you're gonna multiply everything by 12. And what I was saying before is, is rather than like taking 12 times 19, you divide 12 yeah. by six. What is 12 divided by six? Um, two. Wait, so you multiply huh? 19, oh, yeah. yeah. You multiply 19 by two, that's 38. 12 divided by one is 12 times X is 12 X. 12 divided by three is four times 20 is 80. So now you subtract 38 from both sides and you get 42 equals 12 X. Now, what do you do? How do you get X by itself? Um, you divide 12 X by both, or 12 by both sides. Both sides by 12. So X equals 42 divided by 12. And then you've got to reduce this. So you divide by two, divide by two. So it's 21 over six. Then you divide by three and seven over two as your, okay. as your final answer. All right. So let me see if I can make one up here that isn't too bad. Let's go um, 15 divided by four equals X plus uh, two thirds. And I'll just tell you here, the LCM is 12, just to short, shorten this up for us. Okay. Wait, what do you do after you multiply both sides by like 12? Well, uh, so or did you get, the, so I did got, you get 12 X plus eight equals uh, 45 like this? No, I don't know what I did wrong okay. again. All right. Well, this is a good place for us to stop here and we'll, uh, we'll just okay. pick up here next time. But yeah. uh, I, I, I can, 